Hello YouTube, I hope your guys' day is going well, and I noticed that a lot of people are calibrating their trackers the same way, which is standing still and just rotating their arms. This method, this method works okay, um, however I would like to show you guys a better way that I like to calibrate my trackers, and it works a lot better for me than just standing still and just rotating my arms this way. Uh, I'll show you guys what I mean in a second. Um, I just need to turn on my arm tracker right quick. Should turn on any second now. Now it's connecting. And I should be able to see. Yeah, okay, here we go. So yeah, this is normal. Um, my tracker's going to be out of place because I just turned it on. Um, let me go ahead and clear the calibration. And alright, here, here we go. So... I'm going to give you guys an example of how people usually calibrate their trackers. So I'm going to go ahead and click calibration. Just going to do it the way that a lot of people do it. They're going to stand still and start rotating their arms. And I'm not saying that this method is bad at all. It, it does work, but... I noticed that with this method, there's like a lot of tracking issues. See, it, it works okay here. Oh, like say if you like move to a different part of the room. The tracking starts going upwards. Or, sorry, the trackers start going a little bit upwards. It's kind of weird. They like start to bob if you like move to like a different part of it. Here, I'll move a little bit slower just so you guys can see. But see, at this point, the tracker's a little bit higher above my controller, even though the tracker is closer to my controller. But if I like move the tracker to the middle of the room, it goes back to being a little bit lower. Um, it's a little bit weird. Um, it's a lot harder to see on screen. But um, you guys should know the difference if you guys do the method that I'm about to show you. Now, what I usually do is, um, yeah, again, I would start my calibration. I, w I would do it really slowly. But then after like five seconds, I'm going to rotate my body and start calibrating this way, away a bit from where I was standing. And then after that, I'm going to go back to where I was standing before. And there we go. And as you can see, the tracker is staying still. It's not moving from its original point. Because I'm not sure if you guys saw for like the first cal uh, cal uh, calibration. When I turned around, the tracker started rising. It started, it started like levitating on its own. But since I moved to different parts of the room, I'm not having any of that issue, and you guys probably wouldn't notice it much if you guys were just calibrating, but if you like get in game, right, and you start like playing, I don't know, like a game like VR Chat, for example, you like lay down to a, uh, lay down on a couch that's on like the other side of your room, and your character's gonna start looking a lot more weird. See, at this point, the tracker's a little bit higher above my controller, even though the tracker is closer to my controller but if i like move the tracker to the middle of the room it goes back to being a little bit lower um it's a little bit weird um it's a lot harder to see on screen but um you guys should know the difference if you guys do the method that i'm about to show you now what i usually do is um yeah again i would start my calibration i would i would do it really slowly but then after like five seconds i'm going to rotate my body and start calibrating this way away a bit from where i was standing and then after that i'm going to go back to where i was standing before and there we go and as you can see the tracker is staying still. It's not moving from its original point. 
because I'm not sure if you guys saw for like the first cal uh, cal uh, calibration. When I turned around, the tracker started rising. It started, it started like levitating on its own. But since I moved to different parts of the room, I'm not having any of that issue. And you guys probably wouldn't notice it much if you guys were just calibrating, but if you like get in game, right? And you start like playing, I don't know, like a game like VR chat, for example, you like lay down to a, uh, lay down on a couch that's on like the other side of your room and your character's gonna start looking a lot more weird. But if you guys do the method that I just showed you, you should be able to move to any part of the room without issue or without your character looking weird. So I just cleared my cowboy vibration. I'm going to show you guys one last time on what I did. And I'm going to go ahead and start now. I'm going to start rotating my arm. Usually, the slower the better, but if you go too, uh, uh, too slow, then it wouldn't track as well. So you guys can see I'm like moving my body to a different part of the room and turning around and stuff. That's usually what I do to improve the tracking a lot more. And then here we go. Here's another calibration. And as you guys can see, the tracker is hardly moving from its original point. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it has helped the many of you get better calibration with your Vive trackers while using the Quest 2. And I will see you guys in the next one.